Welcome back to Honda Center. I'm Ken French in front of a sea of orange. It's another sellout crowd here at Honda Center. These fans right now are excited and they're ready for game number two, guys. This always happens to me. I have no idea why. That's pretty far now. <laughs> Sports aside, Vegas just came out. I really don't want to know about the movie. I want to know about Kate Beckinsale. How is it working with her? Do you want the absolute truth or do you want like a good television version of why? I like the absolute truth. This is okay. the internet. Let's go. All right. One, two, three, go. Yeah! <laughs> I'm getting mobbed out here. Holidays. That's why we're here. They're right around the corner. And if you're looking to get some gifts for that hockey fan in your life, You've come to the right place. Disney on Ice comes to town, and this year's program featured the Incredibles and Skylar Charisma. Not at the same time. This is Fan Appreciation Day, and the grand prize of the night, we gave away a 2007 Honda Ridgeline truck, and the key that turned the door, this lady right here. Boxing came back to Honda Center for the first time in three years. There were a lot of great fights, and also the power players posed as ring girls. Yes, they did. And Skylar Charisma, she was ringside with all the action. Take a look. Welcome back to Honda Center, everyone. Ducks up 3 nothing after the first period of play. Outside the Ducks locker room right now with Tamu Solani and Tamu. Every time we talk, it seems like you're breaking another record tonight to become the all-time franchise leader in power play goals with 108. How much fun is that? Yeah, it's always fun, especially when the team is playing well. Usually the players are playing well, too, and uh, I think we have to just keep uh, talking more often. Now, fellas, you're well aware with the uh, Ducks' early success has a lot to do with their goaltender, Jay Shiger. And when you play well, you have a tendency to get a little bit of ink. Rob, heading into this series, what were the keys for your line to shut down the top line in Minnesota, especially Marion Gabbard? Well, I think we have to definitely limit our turnover. Tonight's number one star standing by ringside with him is Kent French. Thank you very much, John. In with Corey Perry, the number one star of the game. And Corey, two goals tonight. The crowd wanted three, but you got nine points in your last seven games. Talk about the way you've been playing lately. Well, I'm just trying to do what, do what got me here. How much fun is it seeing UCLA and being able to watch them year after year and watching that program grow? Well, I certainly enjoy it. I have tried. Oh, I spent 27 years teaching at UCLA. And What's up, John? How are you doing? Good. Where to? Ducks TV. So I'm here with Governor Schwarzenegger. Thanks so much for being with us. And Memorial Day weekend, spending your day at a Ducks game, game one of the finals. How exciting is that for you? Well, this is very exciting for me, number one, because I can see this great uh, playoff game, the, the, the beginning of it. Now, when you get to the playoffs, all the big stars start to come out to the games, and we have a big star with us. Well, when you talk stars, you got to talk about Snoop Dogg. He's with us right now. Snoop, with the busy schedule, do you get out to sporting events a lot? I love Anaheim. I love California. Anything that got to do with the West Coast, I'm winning. I'm in it. I'm loving it. That's what I'm here for. Can we see you here all the time? Are you a big Ducks fan? Uh, <laughs> come on. Talk to me. Here. I'm a, you know, I started with the Kings. Yeah. I got to say that's my first team, okay. but... They gotta beat the Red Wings. They gotta beat that damn team, man. We gotta bring the cup to Orange County. That's what I want to see. But the story of the night, Johnny Borneman. <laughs> He's out of the car in Victory Lane. His first win in 2002. Ken French, ready to talk to him. Johnny Borneman, it's a one heck of a race, my friend. You got out in front early and you stayed out in front. If you're gonna do that, you gotta do it on this track. That's right. You know, I was real leery about coming to this track. You know, being as small as it is. Welcome back to Inside Dodgers Baseball. Well, if you haven't been able to get enough of your Dodgers on TV, things are about to change. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Center Ice coming to you from the ESPN Zone in Anaheim. Hockey is back in town for a couple days. Philip, what are you doing to me? I've never seen an adult do that before. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Element coming to you from the Anaheim Spooktacular Parade. Ooh. Now... Okay, we just landed in Sunsvall, and Sammy Paulson met us here at the airport. And Sammy, it is your day with the cup. What do you have planned? What can we expect today? We took a plane from Stockholm, Sweden. We have now landed in Helsinki, Finland, home of Tamu Solani. Coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, site of the 56th annual NHL All-Star Game. Hey, everybody, it's Kent French standing outside the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, Canada. Well, the Ducks just arrived outside the White House. Right here in Dallas, Texas, home of the 2007 NHL All-Star Game. We're coming to you from London, England, and we'll return for the 2007 NHL All-Star Game, so stick around. Okay, see, I know you did super... Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Here we go. Frenchie, lock it Holy up. Holy cow. 
Steve Carroll, this date was put on the calendar about three, four months ago. Is this something you've been looking forward to? Oh, a whole long, uh, yeah, hey, how are you? How's it going? Dude, Take two. All right, well, the week's coming to an end. <laughs> there goes, ah, my nuts. <laughs>